What's up guys, welcome back to Burn Blind. I'm Kyle, we got another pop the top for you. This time, Weller Antique 107, hit that intro. All right guys, we're back. We got the Weller Antique 107, which is made by Buffalo Trace, right here. These are the other products in the Weller line, the 12 year and the special reserve, but my favorite is the 107. It's got the proof, it's still got a nice bit of age on it. Up until this year, this was the middle of the road weller. You had the special reserve, and then the antique, and then the 12 year. The 12 year is the one that a lot of people coveted, but a lot of people that have had these for a long time, they really preferred the 107. Buffalo Trace has caught on to this, and MSRP is going up on the 107. This is gonna be the hardest one to get. The 12 year is gonna be easier to get now, supposedly we'll see how that plays out i'm sure they're going to be gone as soon as they hit the shelf still but maybe prices on them will start coming down on secondary these ones i believe the msrp on them is going to be 50 dollars. what your store charges i have no control over that and then your states taxes blah 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 if you can still find this for under 50 bucks and you like weeded bourbons go ahead and pick it up i mean all these should be staples but like i said this one's my favorite personal I know some people like the Special Reserve the best. Some people like the 12 year the best. Most people that I know, especially ones that I've done blind testing on, prefer the 107. That being said, let's get in here. Oh man, there is a, there is a spiciness on this, guys. I know it's a weeded bourbon and oh, you can't get spice off a of weeded bourbon and this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe it for one second, okay? I've tasted these blind. I've tasted them knowing what they are. The Special Reserve, really not a lot of spice for me, but the 107 and the 12 year, I do get a decent amount of spice on them. So, and it's not, no, obviously it's not from the rye, but you can get that from the barrels, okay? You can get that from the distillation process. Anyway, like I said, it is a weeded bourbon, but you do get a nice amount of spice on it. On this, you get that vanilla, the butterscotch, the caramel, there's almost some, some nutmeg down in there and a little bit of leather, which I know some people say this is like a six to seven year. I think it's older than that generally. I think it's usually in like the, the six to eight year range. We did a pick at Buffalo Trace and they were right in that eight year range. So most of them are probably going to be within that seven to nine year range with the majority probably being seven to eight year, but you know, you can't control everything anyway. Cheers, guys. Mm. A great color on that. Right away, some sweetness. Some of that spice follows through. You get a nice amount of heat. And one thing about this that I love, when we did our barrel pick, most of the barrels of 107 were right around 114 to 116 proof right out of the barrel. So when they're watering these down to 107 proof, that's only, what, 8 proof, so 4% alcohol that they're watering it down, so not a whole lot. You're getting a lot more, a lot more of that body, that volume, the, the mouthfeel, the richness in here. The honey, the oak, like I said, more of that dark fruit. The sweetness is there, but it does have some spice, I know. It's a weeded bourbon, I've heard it before. It, 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 it's there. No matter what you say, I taste it. You may not. That's cool. To each their own. Everyone tastes and smells differently. I do get spice on the 107 as well as the 12 year. On the finish, it's still going. I'd say probably a nice medium, medium to long finish on this. You get some more of that oak, the dark fruit, the weeded sweetness following through. It's just I really like these guys. I know some people don't like them. Cool, man. More <laughs> Cheers, dude. More power to you. You're not going to be buying them. Whatever. But I do like them. Most people do. Like I said, if you can find this anywhere around retail right now, pick it up. Prices are going up this year, 2019. So anyway, until you regularly schedule content Friday, noon central. Cheers. Cheers.